Welcome back everyone to Art a la Carte and in this episode I'm going to show you how to draw a really good mane and forelock on your horses. In this video I'm not going to be covering how to draw a horse head. I have several videos on how to do that. In fact I'll put the links right here for those two videos where I talk about drawing horse heads. But I'll be focusing on instead is how to draw your mane and forelock. So as you can see, I have already pre-drawn out four different horses here in um, very different angles and positions. And we're going to take each one of those and discuss different types of manes and, and forelocks and how to get some cool different effects. So let's go with our first one. So here we have a nice semi-profile view of a horse. And a lot of times you can bring the mane down in front, which I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. But I wanted to really quickly show you how you can achieve this look with the mane going on the other side. And you can start doing that by just taking and making just these kind of little bit of swishing lines along the backside of the neck all the way down. And that's gonna kind of look like the mane is flowing over flipping over the side of the neck and then you could bring down a little bit of a tendrils down along this side but I want to show you now how to go ahead and create that mane a realistic looking mane coming over on our side so I'm going to go ahead and just pull the mane off on this side what I'm going to do is very lightly sketch in kind of the design of how I want the mane to fall. And a great way to do this is to think of how hair clumps together. It's gonna to become thinner and thinner as it comes down, um, as the volume of hair is lessened. Um, so you just kind of wanna draw that out, thinking about gravity and also about the density of, of the hair itself. If it has um, a lot of air and light and fluffy, you're gonna get a lot more uh, flow to your mane. So you might get a bit of a wave to it. So you just draw that out very, very lightly. And I know I've gone ahead and through here and put all my shading in here already. I would actually do that step after I put in my main and forelock. Um, but I wanted to have a kind of a finished piece for you. Um, beforehand and didn't want you to have to wait for me to shade everything in. So once you have it kind of blocked in the way you want it, and the thing to keep in mind as the mane travels up the neck, it's going to get a little bit shorter and shorter and shorter until it comes up here. And a good tip to making a really good looking mane is variance, to keep things um, looking different. Don't just go ch -ch 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 -ch. Don't have the same amount of hair in each clump. Keep it, keep it flowing differently. So you'll see I'll have some shorter pieces, then I'll have a longer piece, and then I'll have another piece that splits a little bit, and then I'll have a larger piece here. Um, it kind of just keeps a little bit of difference with that. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to begin to shade it in, and what I'll do is you'll see that I am very gently dragging my pencil along the way the hair would go. My intent is not to draw every single hair, but my intent is to fill in this space with lines that go with the direction of the hair. As with other things in shading, as with regular shading, when something's darker, it's going to push things back. So as I want to pop out a curl or a lock out further, I'm going to darken my lines in around it a little bit. And that's going to help give it a little bit of dimension. Also, if you're going to have a lighter colored mane and you don't want all this detail behind here, you can take your eraser and just kind of lightly pick up any lines that you don't want showing through. But remember, it's okay to have a little bit of things showing through your mane because um, it's hair and you can kind of see through your hair as it parts away, as it parts and things like that. So that's okay. As you get better at this, you'll find that you can just really move your pencil through a lot faster and get those lines in there nice. But always go with the direction of how you want the mane to flow. Don't go this way go up and down and flow and curve around with the flowing of the hair. And you could just keep on adding tons of detail to this and really making it look really nice. You can go back in with your gummy eraser and pull up you know, some of the lines just to add a little bit of gloss or shine. But again, this is something that you could spend literally hours working on to get just the right look. But let's jump over here and look at the forelock. As the mane travels up the neck, it's actually going to come 
right out between the two ears, which is called the forelock. And some horses have a very thin forelock, some have a very thick forelock, some have a very, you know, stringy forelock. So you kind of have to decide, you know, what you want to do with that. And just like with the mane, I'm going to go ahead and sketch this in. I'm not going to draw it on flat onto the head. I'm going to give it a little bit of volume. So I'm going to bring this line up and again, just very lightly. Just like so. Once I have my shape, then just like with the mane, I'm going to begin adding in those lines very carefully, following the flow of how the hair will go. You'll notice I'm pushing it a little bit darker back here by the ears because I want to kind of try to pop this ear out a little bit and I want to make it look like it's going back in there a bit. So I'm adding just a little bit of a heavier line there. Also this is not going to be as thick and dense usually as the mane. So you just really, you can really just play with those individual strands of, of hair. And up here, especially since I'm going for kind of this, this sparse but um, tendril-y look for this mane, um, getting that individual hair that comes out here and there, not overdoing it because you look like he has a crazy hair day, um, but just every once in a while just pulling out an individual hair that's kind of popped out from the rest. It's going to give it a kind of a cool feel to it. I'm just going to pull a little bit of the lead off just to kind of give it that finished glossy shine. And there we are. That's a great looking mane.